All right, let's take at some of the perks that we've got listed here. If you have any questions on these, perks are passive bonuses that will enhance your character in various ways. Perks are acquired by using SHD tech. Perks can be unlocked in any order. Some perks have upgrade levels in which to unlock higher levels of these, you must first unlock the lower levels, which makes sense. Pick a perk to immediately gain its benefits. Once acquired, they are always active. Hold F to unlock. So it looks like first we need to uh, probably get this one here. So we can have a weapon slot. There we go. And let's just take a look at some of the others that are available to us. So we've got our weapon slot, and this allows a second weapon to be equipped for a total of two primary weapons and one secondary weapon equipped at all times. We have restock armor kits. Uh, restocking when entering a safe space refills all armor kits. And for its second level, uh, restock number two is grenades. Restocking when entering a safe space refills all grenades. We have a field proficiency, proficiency cache. And this gives you a 50% chance for a bonus item to drop when opening a field proficiency cache. We have armor kit one. You can now carry one more armor kit for a total of four. An armor kit two allows you to upgrade that by one, so you have a total of five. An armor kit three gives you one more for a total of six. Grenades, one, two, and three all upgrade that for one more grenade that you can carry. Inventory one, two, and three the first one gives you an increase by 10 slots. The second gives you an increase by 20 slots. And inventory three gives you a whopping 30 more additional slots. That's quite a bit. Stash one, two, and three. Stash one gives you the storage capacity by 20. Storage two or stash two increases the capacity by 30 slots. Stash three adds an additional 50 slots to your stash. All right, looks like we got some XP stuff here. We got a lot of them. So the first one on the list is Headshot Accolade. Headshot kills award an XP bonus. Multi-kill Accolade. Killing multiple enemies at the same time award XP bonus. Weak Points Accolade. Kills triggered by destroying weak points award an XP bonus. Tactical Kill Accolade. Kills triggered by destroying environmental objects award an XP bonus. And last but not least, the survivor. Not dying for a long amount of time, solo or in a group will award you increase in XP bonuses. And for this one, we have detection one and detection two. Detection one, denoting enough resources to the control points, activates better detonation of loot containers in a 20 meter radius for 10 minutes. In detection two is for the detection of hostiles on a 20 meter radius for 10 minutes. Here we have our crafting materials one, two, and three. Material crafting or material storage capacity is increased to 100 on the first level. The second level increases that to 250, and the third level increases that to 500. Ooh, nice. Magazines, one, two, three, and four. Awards tactical, small pouch magazine, fits any belt-fed weapon. Magazine two is balanced spring 556 five, mag, fix, fits 556 five, assault style weapons. Magazine three, awards precision 7.62 mag and fits all 7.62 assault style weapons. Magazine number four is the awarding of field pistol mag, and that fits all your sidearms. And here we have our different muzzle types. So the first one is a loud vent break for the 5.56 five, muzzle and fits its effective caliber. Muzzle two is a compensator for the 7.62 and fits its respective caliber muzzle. Muzzle number three, or level three, Awards small suppressor for your 9mm muzzles for their respective caliber. And muzzle 4 is for the Osprey 45 suppressor, and that fits your 45 caliber muzzles. Here we go over to our optics. The optics 1 awards your 
T2 micro red dot sight and this fits your short and long top rails and your optics 2 is your ACOG scope the 4x and this fits long top rails we have our grips one and two the first one is a short grip for under barrel attachment and fits long rails and grip level two is your compact couple small laser pointer which fits non-rail couplings we have deconstruction one and deconstruction two deconstruction one can yield extra crafting materials and deconstruction two gives you a chance for rare material to be awarded when deconstructing Resources 1, 2, and 3. The resource inventory can now carry 50 more food, water, and components. Resource 2 increases that again, and resources 3 increases that a third time by the same value. And here we are at our bounties. So, <clears throat> first one is our hard bounties. Get access to one hard difficulty bounty per day, but it requires Otis Sykes and challenge bounties get access to one challenging difficulty bounty per day but you do have to be max level of 30. and here we have our different loadouts for loadout one two and three a new equipment loadout can now be created in the inventory for a total of four and loadouts two increases that by five or increases that to a total number of five sorry and loadouts level three, a new equipment loadout can now be created in the inventory for now total of six, but it does require level 30. And for the last but not least, we have signature weapon ammo. And this increases the amount of signature weapon ammo dropped, but it does require level 30.